Welcome to Seals on the Move. I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. We're at Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center in Nashville, Tennessee for Goblins and Giggles. Join us as we check out the Halloween decor, go on the Ghoul's Night Out Riverboat Ride, and explore the resort signature store, which features Gaylord Opryland merch. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. Even though we're here at Gaylord Opryland for Halloween today, they've got the stuff up for Christmas already. Uh, the advertisement, it's gonna be Polar Express themed and just a bunch of ice sculptures. So, should be neat. We're planning to come back for this. More Christmas setup. And this is where they have the ice tubes. So you can kind of see, you've got the slide thing already starting to get set up. And the ice skating rink will go over there. And like we just mentioned, there's the ice tubing and the ice skating. Got lots of icy stuff. I love these paintings. They're right past the Cascades lobby area. <laughs> and there was a nice painting of Rosie. That one kind of reminds me of fall, but the Cascades Necessities is closed for some reason. A little gift shop down near the elevators. Some more of these great paintings. When you come around here, this is a little cafe area, which is also closed. And they've got the Opryland channel on. You can see what's going on at Gaylord Opryland. And at night on this channel, they put stories for Halloween right now during Halloween. Here's what's going on during Halloween. A lot of stuff for kids. The Adventure Kids Spectacular Scavenger Hunt has kids find hidden pumpkins at the resort. The jumping fountains. It'd be fun to go down there and just get sprayed by them. This is the best waterfall here. Let's go head out behind it. And you've got the tunnel behind the waterfall, and it reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney World here. It's very Pirates-esque. If you want a good breakfast when you come to Gaylord Opryland, Cascades there, off in the distance. Delicious. Here's Rosie, off the escalator. They're already starting to put Christmas lights in here. So it's just like when you go to the store and you see a mix of Halloween and Christmas. That's what it's like at Gaylord Opryland. It looks like they're having some sort of event down there. Another activity is the trick-or-treat expedition, which is basically trick-or-treating at the hotel. In Magnolia Necessities, they have Nashville chocolate. It's interesting. And they also have the best chocolate bars you can get. Tony's. Chocolony. Chocolony. Now we're getting into the Halloween decor. It's a bunch of pumpkins here in the Delta Atrium. I wonder what this plant is. If you know what it is, let us know in the comments. It looks like a giant red pine cone growing out of this thing. Got a scarecrow pumpkin. Birds, some wheat, a giant pumpkin, and it looks like there's a surprise behind the giant pumpkin. Well, you can see a preview of the riverboat ride that will be going on later. There's some spider webs on the tree, there's a sign off in the distance, and they even have some Christmas stuff already out. The Moravian Stars. Here we've got a pumpkin tree, and here I thought pumpkins grew on vines. Spookiness you will be encountering soon. Here are some interesting pumpkins. That one's purple on the inside. You can see one in the background too, an evil looking one. But if you come up, this one actually has, I'd say they're bat wings, but they look like more like goblin ears. They're probably bat wings considering there's bats in front. And I like this purple one, I guess. Oh, it's got lights inside. That's neat. The lights up there are Halloween colors, orange, 
and purple, and you have mermaid skeletons flying for some reason. And a waterfall in the background. Here we've got some Nashville themed pumpkins, guitars, cowboy boots, cowboy hats, musical notes. This is what you think of when you think of them doing pumpkins here. So the river that the riverboat goes through, the Delta Riverboat, has water from every state. You know, Alaska, I mean, you can just go down. I'm gonna go kind of fast, because, but you can see it's just like every state is represented. I'm not even gonna show them all because they go way down there. <laughs> so not only is it from, do they have water from every state, but also from other countries, including multiple provinces of Canada. Here's a pumpkin-headed lady. That's a neat decoration. Kind of very artsy. All the pumpkins appear to be themed that are grouped together. So this is like the trick-or-treat one with desserts and candy. You got cupcakes, different sets of candy, lollipop. And we're here on a Tuesday, and a lot of the stuff they only do on Saturdays. So this is probably the kids' clubhouse thing or something like that. But they've got some theming in here and skeletons on the tablecloths. Ooh, and there's a pumpkin band from behind. We've got the Universal Monster theme over here. You've got Frankenstein, the Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein, uh, Dracula, and is that... Creature from the Black Lagoon? Yeah. This looks like pirates themed Halloween. I mean, nothing looks Halloween except for pumpkin. I guess there's a headless skeleton, but that could just be pirates. <laughs> I guess this is a mad scientist lab. He needs to clean up though. There's spider webs. Let's see, what, what, what books do they choose? The Evolution of Behavior. I think they just found old books, places, from places. It looks like Albert Einstein, is that like a biography? So in Delta Necessities, I found Berenstein Bear books. That's so cool. Here's Rosie getting into the Nashville spirit. Where did Disney get pet treats? I also have dog ones. <laughs> Slinky Dogs, the sponsor of, the, of those and Pluto of those. I do wonder what's in that building on top of the building. There's a door. Now you might miss these when you're walking around, but there's little white pumpkins here. And this is the view from here, so if you come, you can find them. Here the theme is witches, because there's black cats. I mean, there aren't right now, but you know they're black cats. And witches. The witches hats. And a broom. So if you see the white brick here, this is the former exterior of Gaylord Opryland before they built this atrium. This is the newest atrium, and it was built, I think it opened in 1996, but this is the old exterior wall. Here's the pumpkin band. And we come up on a graveyard scene here. That skeleton seems to be pretty happy about being dead. And this one's dancing, just like the dancing skeletons from Disney. At Christmas time, there's a massive tree covering up this fountain. I didn't even know this fountain was really here. Well, we saw something pirate earlier, so I guess it's Halloween pirate themed. Now the Gaylord in Florida, Gaylord Palms, has a lot of pirate theming to it all year round. Training. You got a sticker. You know what that entails? I think you gotta say boo. Boo? <laughs> that wasn't very good.
Boop. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Gaylord Opulent Hotel Convention Center and Resort. My name is Jim. I will be your boat captain this evening. As we travel down this uncharted McGavick Pike, there have been many legends and many explorers traveling down the river this way, never to return again. So let's get this party started. You're welcome to take photos as you relax and ride on this Delta River ride, but be on the lookout, keep your eye open. You never know what's gonna come around the next bend.
wells that they maintain. I won't be adding to my ghoulish crew. You smart sailors made a crew. Instead of tricks, you've earned a treat. But you need to stay in your seat. Captain, the pontoon boat is now yours. 
you were successful on your tour. That was an awesome cruise. I had a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Well, we're about to come to the end of the cruise. I see the dock in the view of you. So we will dock the boat, steer the boat, and then disembark from the front of the boat first, and then the back of the boat. So once again, remain seated until the attendant says it's okay to step off of the boat. You get off the boat, you go off on the right-hand side, you go up the stair steps and the yellow stair nosing. And be sure and use the handrails for your own safety. As you turn the corner to your right, we will share some of the prizes with you. A coin and a set of spooky glasses. The Francis McGavick hasn't captured any of us this evening, but we have captured you with a photo. So as you round the corner on your left, you can view the photo that was taken just before you left out on the cruise. And I want to take that home with you as a remembrance of your Delta River ride. On behalf of the Delta River Boat Company and myself this evening, I want to thank everyone for riding with us this evening. And I hope that while you're visiting and staying here or staying here at the hotel, you make a lot of great, wonderful memories, as well as while you're visiting Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Did y'all have a nice time? We did. It was uh, a lot of fun. These these are your prizes oh, wow. for Thank you very being much. such a great crew. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so I've got to ask, are y'all YouTubers? Yes. What's your channel? Uh, Seals on the Move. Seals yes, on sir. the Move. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. We do a lot of Opryland stuff because we live in the area, so we've I covered a lot of different okay. stuff. So since they were, you guys were doing the Halloween stuff, decided to cover it. So it says on here, while wearing these glasses, look at street lights, city lights, fireworks, or any bright distant point of light to see the magical images. So I think bats show up when you look at them. This should be cool. And we got chocolate coins. Rosie's wearing her specs. Look at you. We'll have to try these out at night. They seem so they seem interesting. Can you see anything? It just looks a different no, it just it, looks like a shade of blue. Too bright outside right now. I think we have to wait till it's dark. So when I put these on, I noticed I just had a shade of blue, but when I look at the lights, it's Look at bats. the light up there. There's bat shapes bat around shapes it. We Maybe we can show you through the glasses. I'm not sure. So here's the bats through the glasses. You can't actually see it. Have the camera up. Maybe not as well as you can with eyes, but yeah, there's little bats around all the lights. See, there's the lights. Yeah, see, they move if you turn the glasses. The bats do. That's cool. Got my chocolate coin. And then I'm going to have, oops, sorry, the black one. <laughs> you can see witches flying through the lights. Let's see if they come back through. Here, and here it comes, the witch. to see from up here. There it goes. Yeah, there they go. Yeah. That's cool. There's pumpkins. Spookly the Square Pumpkin is sort of the mascot of Gaylord Opryland's Halloween season. A meet and greet with the character takes place on Saturdays, and his story is told during the bedtime stories, which I believe airs on the resort TV channel. All the trees decked out for Halloween. The witch pumpkins all lit up. At night these light up. That's cool. If you want Gaylord Opryland branded merchandise, you need to come to the resort signature store. This is pretty much the only place to buy the Opryland branded merchandise, like Soundwave shirts, 
Um, I love these things. They're like little surfboard signs. They look awesome. It says sound waves, it's got Opryland on it. Just all sorts of sound wave shirts. Sound waves. Like long sleeve shirts, jackets, which seems kind of funny since it's a water park. All sorts of stuff. Opryland spirit jerseys. We got some to go bottles. Soundwaves and Opryland. Nice mugs. To go wine glasses. Bags. Some different Soundwave stickers here. Pretty nice. And this book looks very interesting. History of Gaylord Opryland. Opryland Moleskin. Some, what are these, bandanas? Yeah, bandanas. And some more shirts, towels, of all sorts of colors. You get bathrobes. Looks like these, yeah, Opryland branded slippers. I like that, I'd wear those. So I guess this is, yep. Gaylord Opryland. Wine glasses. And what are these? Oh, these are the robes. Some more shirts. You've got magnets. Clipper magnets. Bottles. Even Opryland bears. <laughs> Mugs with the Delta Atrium printed on them. I like these colored mugs. And these are basically just Nashville stickers. Opryland pins with diamonds in them. Different keychains. Bottle openers. And of course, you have guitars. <laughs> These are great. Opryland drumsticks. Hang it. Got some shot glasses with the picture of the Delta Atrium. Some bigger mugs on the outside. See that the same on the other side? Yeah. And more keychains. This one's got a microphone on it. We can focus on that. There we go. I like these simple keychains. Cowboy boots. It's a nice bottle opener one. You get this Nashville skyline. And magnets. Of the old entrance. Some wooden magnets. On this side, there's Gaylord Opryland hats in various colors. Comes with t shirts. Some water bottles with t shirts. Interesting. And some. Opryland glassware. Hmm. And giant bears. I had a bear like that when I was growing up. And a horse. Different sweatshirts. All sorts of Hawaiian shirts. And you got more of the window displays. That's the uh, radio station. Actual radio station, WSM. Some more 
clothing. Kind of t-shirts. It's not Halloween, but look at all the Christmas lights they've got up. Actually, these might be here all year, honestly. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What do you like to do during Halloween? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your friends, subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is in the description, or you can click on one of the buttons below to give through YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.